I think whether you're in quarantine or you're practicing social distancing um, and if you find yourself at home, just let the food that you have nourish you. I'm really bad at <laughs> can open. Okay, so this is our corn. We're just going to drain it off. So just set this to the side and when we are ready to serve, you can add it. So, spam. Um, I think it's a very regional snack. This would just be sliced up, pan fried. Ooh, nice hiss. Ugh. Nice. And we're going to cut it up into thick slices. You don't want it to be too thin. Um, the fat is going to render. Um, and you still want it to have some crispy but tender texture. Also on the vegetable train for today, we have fresh spinach. Um, frozen spinach is also totally okay, and we're just going to wash it and set it aside. So this is all going to happen really quickly. Once your water has come to the boil, we're going to add the spinach in. But before you do that, make sure that you have a bowl of ice water on the side because we want to keep the spinach really fresh and vibrant. So your water's boiling and we're going to go straight in with the spinach. Take your trusty spider, just do that. And we're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Take it off the heat. Take your spinach right into the ice water. And what we're going to do is add our noodles in, cook them, essentially flash cook the noodles really quickly and pull them out so that they don't overcook. This is again going to happen very quickly. We only want to cook the noodles until they start to fall apart like this. As soon as they are falling apart, we want to turn the heat off and we want to grab our spider and take all of the noodles out and put it into a separate bowl. We have all of our components ready um, and whilst we're waiting for the next batch of water to boil, we're going to get our spam going. There is a little bit of smoke coming off it now and that's when we want to start adding our protein. Also, this part of the dish is essentially anything that you want it to be. It could be tofu, it could be rotisserie chicken that you've just pulled off the carcass um, and then added to the soup. So, And it could just even be more vegetables as well. It's completely up to you. Okay, so your soup water is boiling and the first thing that you're going to do is actually add the flavor packets from the instant noodles themselves. So these are the little dehydrated vegetables that come in most instant noodle packets and we're just going to rehydrate them in the water. Our soup is essentially coming back together and then we can start adding everything else in. The first thing that we're going to do is lower our noodles in. Once the noodles are in, you're just going to turn the heat off completely. Add your spinach back in. A little bit of corn on the side. So you could take just about any cheese. How many slices? It's really up to you. If you're really into cheese, then I would, I would just cover the whole thing. Just like a cheeseburger, we're going to cover it so that the steam actually helps to melt the cheese. You can see it's starting to melt here on the side and we're just gonna wait for that to melt completely. The result that we are trying to get is that your cheese just melts over your noodles and we are ready to serve. What you top the noodles with is absolutely up to you. For me personally, I really enjoy, you know, just some fresh um, scallions and a little bit of deep fried shallots. You can make this yourself or you can just get it from your Asian grocer as well. I add pickled jalapenos. So you can do this a la ramen style per se, where you add the spam directly into the noodle soup, but I prefer to have it on the side so that it stays crispy. Essentially, this dish is one pot cheesy ramen. We call it one pot because I do intend for you to eat 
it out of the pot. It's so forgiving, you can add bacon, tofu, rotisserie chicken, whatever you have on hand. What you do get is molten cheese and ramen, which is super delicious. <laughs> is it good? I think it's really good.